Today, I'll be controlling the rover through tilting and moving a smartphone. Let's start with the demo now. In our demo, we have a smartphone and Raspberry Pi based rover. They both are connected to same network through home Wi-Fi. Accelerometer sensor in the smartphones are able to detect changes in the orientation of the device. The orientation of the phone in 3D space corresponds to change in sensor data in X, Y and Z dimensions. When the phone tilts or moves, these X, Y, Z values corresponding to the three dimensions changes. Certain JavaScript objects and event handlers makes it possible to read sensor data like accelerometer and gyroscope directly from web browser. Coming to Rover, there is a web server up and running in Raspberry Pi. A custom code written in PHP, HTML and JavaScript is placed in web server to generate the web page with necessary functionality of capturing accelerometer data. Now we can access this web page using a browser of a smartphone. When the web page is loaded, the JavaScript code embedded in it swings into action and starts capturing the smartphone's accelerometer data. Further, this captured data is sent back to the server via background HX calls. This entire process repeats itself four times in a second and updates the server with device current orientation. At the server, a PHP file receives these X, Y and Z values and based on these values, it makes relevant GPIO pins high or low to control the motors in forward or backward direction. I have taken the remote of Raspberry Pi. This is where the code is placed. So this is the folder which contains all the logic for controlling the rover through accelerometer sensor of the smartphone. Rest of the code has been explained in the previous videos. This folder has three files. These files contain the logic which works as described in the video. The code can be downloaded through the link provided below.